Hi. And good evening. Hi and good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. How's good evening. it going? Good to see you. How are you today? Huh? Are we ready for a new English session? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Hello, students. Are you there? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. So what's up? What's up, dear students? How's it going? How is your day going, huh? Is it a good day for you? Is it a bad day, huh? I am it's happy to see day. you. It's a good day, huh? It's a good day. Welcome to the English session, everyone. I can see Elizabeth, Carlos, Jose, Marbelli, Patricia, Sandra, also Sonia, and Tanya. Thank you for your punctuality you are very punctual you are very responsible um tell tell any question with how that's the last practice we had yesterday very very interesting when you were making questions with how yeah we're going to make a question and choose one of the participants. I'm going to choose Sandra Campos, okay? You are, you are my chosen one. My question is, how good are you at um, uh, singing songs in English? How good are you at singing singing songs in English? Mm. I don't think <laughs> so. Not so good. No, not so good. Repeat, not so good. Not so good. No problem, no problem. Mm -hmm. Can you make a how question to a different participant? Um, okay. Mm. Carlos, how? Ah. Go ahead. How often do you? Practice the English. Can you hear us, Carlos? Say hello. Say something. Hello. Uh, the conversation is with you, my brother. The question is for you. Oh, get about it. Carlos, I'm not, I'm not Carlos, I am Caleb. <laughs> uh, repeat one more, please. Repeat one more time. One more time. Okay, Carlos, how often do you practice the English? Uh, 
I practice the English three times for a week. Okay, you will say I practice English three times practice. a week. A week. A week. Okay. Thank you for the information. Continue, Carlos. You make a how question to the next classmate. Hmm. Sandra. Excuse us, Sandra. Excuse me, Sandra. Mabel, eh, how often do you, no, perdón, how often do you go to the beach? How often do you go to the beach? To the beach. I hardly ever go to the beach. Okay. Thank you for the information, right, Carlos? Thank you. And um, continue, Miss, with a question to the next classmate. How? How question? Yes. Hello. Elizabeth. Excuse me, Elizabeth. Hi. Hi. Excuse me, Elizabeth. Hi, Sandra. How often do you go? Okay, a different one. A different one. No more how often. A different one. Remember, you can use how long, how well, and how good. How long do you spend on Facebook? Iconic. Um, I uh, It's a complicated uh, question, Hamis. Yes. <laughs> Very difficult. Visually, <laughs> uh, <laughs> always. No. <laughs> I always uh, view Facebook. Are you sure you have to use an adverse of frequency in this question? Because the question is not about frequency. Yes. Do you understand? Me. Yes, uh, I view Facebook 30 minutes every day. Say, say, I spend 30 minutes on Facebook every day. Repeat. I spend 30 minutes every day. Okay, I spend 30 minutes on Facebook every day. I spend, spend 30 minutes on Facebook every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right. It is, it is a little complicated question because we're talking about a period of time, how long, right? Okay, remember we're using how long, how good, how well, and how often. Continue, Miss, it's your turn. Yep. Mm, yeah. Uh, let me. Okay. Uh, Samuel? Excuse, Excuse me. Samuel? Excuse me, someone. Uh, Hello. How well do you play guitar? The guitar. How well do you play the guitar? Repeat. How How well do you play the guitar? 
I I very bad. You're very bad, so you will say not very well. <laughs> not very well. Oh. No problem. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the information, Sam. Make a question to the next classmate. Using a how question. Excuse me, Jancy. How, how good? Ouch. How good? Uh, how good are you? Speak French. How good? Are you at Jaron? Speak French. Jaron, speak uh -huh. becomes speaking. speaking. Uh huh. Speaking. Start over. Start over. Guys, me ayudan con la interferencia, how por favor. How good are you speaking at French? Okay, let me repeat for you, Sam. Pay attention. How good are you speaking at French? How good are you at How good are you speaking at French? Speaking French. How good are you at speaking French? Hello. Hello. How good are you speaking at French? I'm going to type it for you, okay? I'm going to type it for you. After the preposition at, you need the um you need the gerund. Okay, so it goes how good are you at speaking in French? Speaking French. French. Okay, can you see the chat, Sam? How good are you at speaking French? Who is the who is the classmate? Who is the classmate? Who is the question to uh, Samuel? Who is the question for? Who is the question to? Who's your classmate? Uh, the question is to Jansi. Hello, Jansi. Go ahead. Hello. Can you repeat, please? We have a little background. Okay, guys, vamos a cortar ahí el um, warm up. Thank you for the practice. Eh, me ayudan cuando hagamos estas prácticas con sus audios. Eh, los que tengan, pues, um, este tiempo de calidad, ¿verdad? Tiene que ser súper, súper aprovechado. Entonces, si usted tiene interferencia en su casita, porque está su familia ahí, no hay problema. Solamente que usted no podrá hacer las prácticas eh, con normalidad. 
pónganme ahí en el chat next, ¿verdad? Para que yo entienda que usted, pues, aunque quiere, pues, no puede por la interferencia, ¿ok? Porque um, estos drills siempre me gusta sacarlos al máximo provecho. Eh, donde pues nos salimos de nuestra zona de confort, hacemos una pregunta o nos hacen una pregunta, right? Para practicar lo que hemos visto. Ok, so with that being said, let's get started, people. We're going to share now the screen with you. And uh, let's see, ready with your pen and paper to take notes, to ask questions and to improve improve your English. Let me just show this one here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You can visualize my screen now, can you? Yes, no, maybe? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. thank you, thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your confirmation. I have you here. What happens is that I have two monitors and I, I'd like to have the picture of, of you. Like I want to I wanna see you there. And in the other screen, I have the book, the presentation of our book. So what is the objective today? We will listen to a conversation about two people and the activities they did during the past weekend oh we're gonna talk about simple past yes yes actions in the past we're going to check this um conversation please check for any vocabulary that is new to you or if you have any question let's go hi to all welcome to section seven we had a great time in this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went. Okay. Uh, before we move on, I, I want you to see the conversation and I want you to take down, take down all the verbs in simple past. Write apart all the verbs, identify the verbs in the conversation that are in simple past. Make a list on your notebook. Go. Go, I'll give you three minutes. I'll give you three minutes. Let's go. Okay, I'm finished. All right, everybody finished. Let's let's brainstorm the simple past verbs. Uh huh. What is the first one? Did. 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 The simple Did. present Did. is do. do. Simple past. Did. 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 Excellent. Excellent. Next. 
Had. Had. Simple present. Have. Have. Have or or has the third person? Yes. Yes. In the simple past, easy. Have. Have. Next. Went. 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 W e n t is the simple pass of go. 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 G o is the simple present. The third person is goes. And the simple pass is went. Si estamos ahí en los tres, ooh, you're super duper. Okay, next. What's next? Sang. Sang. S-A-N-G. This is the simple pass of sing. sing. The third person sings. The gerund singing. All right. And the simple pass sang. Good job. What's next? Do you have any next? Stayed. 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 Let me see, let me see, let me see. Stayed. 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 The simple present is stay. Stayed. Because Stayed. it's a regular verb. Stay. Yeah. In the simple past, stayed. 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 Okay, next. Studied. 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 What is the simple present? Study. 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 The person? Studies. Studies. Jaron? Studying. 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 Okay. And the simple past, studied, because studied. it's, again, irregular verb. Okay? Regular teach. Yes, regular. Regular teach. Regular. That's what I said. Regular, regular verb. It ends with um, ed. Okay. So, do we have any next? No, right? That's it. Forgot. Yes, forgot. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Forgot. Uh, I forgot this verb. <laughs> forgot. The simple present is? Forget. 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 Oh, Are you forgetful? The adjective is forgetful, right? Um, the third person forgets. Okay. Um, the gerund? Forgetting. Forgetting. Forgetting, okay. And forgot the simple yeah. past. All right, you guys are amazing. Congratulations. Very, very smart. You're very smart. Let's listen to this conversation now. Let's try to absorb the pronunciation. Weekend. This conversation will walk us through activity that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Do you have any question? Identify. About this Did you do anything special? Do you have any question, any comment? Nope, so far so good. 
Great, great. In that case, let's practice. How many gentlemen do we have? Let me see. We have only Carlos and Samuel. We have only two gentlemen. Okay, we have a lot of women, women power, huh? Okay, so women are going to be Meg. They are going to interpret Meg's role. And then I'm going to help the boys. Uh, Carlos, Samuel, and myself. We're going to interpret Rick's role. Ready, Sam? Ready, Carlos? I'm ready. Okay, pronunciation on three, two, one. Let's go. So, so what did you do what last you, weekend? What, did you, what did you do last weekend? Oh. I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, 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 we didn't. We went to we went to the downtown. How about you? How about you? you? Did you, did, you go go did you go anywhere? Mm, no, 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 I didn't. I didn't, I didn't go, go anywhere, anywhere. We, all weekend. Oh, I just I stayed study. home and studied, oh, and studied for two days. Spanish test. Or Spanish today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. Don't worry. You always get an A. <laughs> Maybe we're going to repeat it one one more time. You're going to repeat it after me. Try to absorb the pronunciation and the intonation. Remember, if you have background noise, you better have your microphone muted, okay? Because you may interfere. Let's listen and repeat. Listen completely and repeat so what did you do last weekend meg so what did you do last weekend, last weekend, last weekend, meg? Last weekend meg? there are two forms guys you can say normally you can ask what did you do yes what did you do so what did what you do? You, yeah. What did you do last weekend? Meg? What did you do? So, That's did good. You That's do? good. Now remember, Americans they shorten they some expressions. They deduct expressions. Sometimes they use contractions and sometimes they use deductions. So in this case, an American will say, What did you do? Instead of saying, What did you do? He, he or she would say, what did you do? What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Good. What did you do last weekend? It's a little difficult. Listen what and repeat. Did what did you do last weekend, Meg? What did you do last weekend, Meg? What did you do last weekend, Meg? What, what, what did, did you do, do last weekend? weekend? What did you do last weekend, Meg? Repeat. I had a great time. 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 I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. I went to a karaoke bar and sang on Saturday. That sounds like fun. That sounds like fun. Sounds like um, that sounds, sounds like fun. Awesome. That, that sounds, sounds like fun. Like did you go to did you go to Lucky's? 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 This is this is a yes, no question. Did you go to Lucky's? 
Did you know? Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We didn't. No, we didn't. We went to we went to that new place downtown. We went, we went to, to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? How about you? Did you go anywhere? 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 No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. No, no I, didn't I didn't go anywhere. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. I uh, also stayed I home and studied for today's Spanish test. Spanish test. Our, our Spanish test is today. Our Spanish, our Spanish test, test is today. 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 Our Spanish test is today. Our Spanish, Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. 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 Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You always get an A. You always get an A. Yeah, remember that the, the grades in America is with the letters, right? A is like a 10 here in El Salvador. We put the number 10. But in the United States, they put the letter A as the best score, right? So we're going to practice once again. Teacher Caleb is going to be Rick, and students are going to be Meg. I want to check your pronunciation. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, did you go? What did you do? What did you do last weekend, guys? Oh, I had a red time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. Did you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and started for today's Spanish test. Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. About that. Ah, don't worry. You always get an A. <laughs> nice job. Let's switch it. Let's switch it. The students start on three, two, one, go. So, so what did you do last weekend, Meg? Last weekend. Man. Oh, uh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We, we went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, no. I didn't, no. Go anywhere. didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just I stay at home and stay for today's Spanish test. Spanish test. That's good. That's good. Thank you for your participation. I know that. This is a conversation, guys, in simple pass. And the magic question is this. What did you do last weekend? Um, I have a question for each one of you. What did you do your last weekend? Can you try to remember your last Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this past weekend? What did you do? Can you prepare an answer for me? I'm going to give you 
three minutes so you can prepare one answer for me, including activities that you did in this past weekend. Now, remember, you have to consider that you need to use verbs in simple past, like had, went, sang, um, drank, ate, visited, etc. right? All the verbs that you can remember. I'm gonna give you three minutes to prepare an answer for this question. What did you do last weekend? We're gonna have a conversation in a moment. Prepare your answer. Prepare your answer. Okie dokie, do we have any volunteer? Raise your virtual hand if you have an answer for us. The question is, what did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Okay, go ahead, Jessica, please. Okay, teacher, the last weekend, I went to help my mom in her business. In the after that, we had a lunch with her. In the afternoon, we went to El Café Talón because mm -hmm. the kids wanted to swim. In Sundays, we went to the church. And after that, we had a lunch again with all family. In, in the afternoon, we walked to the park. That's it. So you spent a lot of time with your mom? Yes. That's great. And that's very clear using your simple past skills, Miss Jessica, good job. So you went okay. to the park, you stayed with your family, you had lunch with your mother, right? Yes. Amazing. Yes. Thank you, good job. All right, Thank somebody you. else, do we have any other? Sandra, okay, Sandra Campos, go ahead. What did you do last weekend? Okay, I worked for for four hours in that day. After I returned to my house and my family and I went to, to play basketball. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so you went to play basketball. That's nice. I understood everything. Thank you, Sandra. Interesting information. So you like playing basketball. Uh-huh. Any other hand raise? Go ahead, Miss Gen C. What did you do last weekend? Okay. On Friday, I went to school in the afternoon and finished a stressful week of the exams. Mm, yeah. And then on Saturday, I woke up around 6 a.m. And the weather was cloudy and cool. So I didn't go to the church because after that, it was raining. Oh, yeah. And on Sunday, I woke up not too early and I didn't know nothing. <laughs> Okay. And I didn't do nothing. And in the afternoon, I went to church. Oh, okay. But you went to church. That's that's the best you could yeah, do. Yeah. So that's good. That's a good weekend, Miss. That's a good weekend for you, right? I'm yeah. happy to hear you're busy on your weekend. I mean, sometimes it's okay for you to take a break. Sometimes it's good for you to take a break. Go ahead, Mr. Carlos Portillo. Is your turn. Uh, the Friday I visited my family. The Saturday I went to eat. And the Sunday I went to the beach. Okay. You can say on Friday, I, and you give the activity. Or you can say last Friday, yes, last Friday, comma, I, and you give your activity, okay? That's for you to put uh, the days uh, correctly. The rest is fine, Carlos, the rest is fine. So keep working, keep working. You got it all. Somebody else, what did you do last weekend? What did you do? Ah, do you have any secrets? Ah, huh? you don't want to tell me what you did last weekend. Ah, it's a secret. It's a top secret. Huh? It's confidential information. <laughs> what did you do last weekend? Come on. I have only three students who told me. What did you do last weekend? Pueden inventarlo, ¿verdad? Por si hay ahí necessity of inventing stories. Ajá. Uh -huh. What did you do last weekend? No more volunteers. No more volunteers, huh? Me, teacher. I try. Who's me? Who's you? What's your name? Sandra Maya. Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. Where are you, Sandra? Oh. Okay, go ahead, Miss Amaya. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, ask me. What did you do? What did you do the last weekend, Sandra? It's not a secret. Huh? Um, I went to San Francisco Gotera because I had math class all Saturday. Nice. In the night, Went to a restaurant with my family. Had a great time. On Sunday, went to Rio Sapo and ate hamburger and fried potato. We drank lemonade. Mm, it's all. Nice. Sounds like fun. Just like in the conversation. Just like, sounds like fun, Miss. <laughs> San Francisco Gotera, I imagine it's a, hot, it's a hot city, isn't it? I live in Arambala, Morazan. Ruta oh, de Paz. Oh, so we live far, we live very far away, okay. Miss. Yes. No yes, problem, yes. Miss, but, but the English language keeps us connected, you know? Yes. That's the beauty. That's the best. That's yes. the best, Miss Sandra. Good participation. Okay. 
We're going to do a dynamic, okay? Uh, <clears throat> I want you to concentrate on the simple past verbs, yes? Only on the simple past verbs. Okay, okay, okay. You want to take notes? You can take notes, okay? No problem. You can take notes. I have no problem with that. But most of all, I want you to think in English. I want you to picture, kind of imagine, use your imagination and associate the information with your classmates. Guys, remember to have your cameras activated. That's one of the requirements by INSAFOR and active participation, cameras activated and active participation. Okay. The dynamic is called the last weekend. So you will say the last weekend, a student one, for example, Sandra will say, um, Last weekend, I had lunch with my mom, for example. Okay. So Carlos will continue and Carlos will say, the last weekend, Carlos has to repeat Sandra's example plus his example. For example, um, the last weekend I had lunch with my mom and I got sick. Okay. So, for instance, if Jancy continues, she would say Sandra's example, Carlos' example, plus her example. For instance, something like this. The last weekend, I had lunch with my mom. I got sick and I went to the doctor. <laughs> so we're gonna kinda build a story. It's gonna be like a group story that we're gonna build right now, okay? Pay attention. The expression is the last weekend. Okay, we're gonna start with Jessica Castro. You will open, Jessica. Go. Okay. Okay. The last weekend, I woke up at 8, p 8 a.m. Okay. The last weekend, I woke up at. 8 a.m. You said 8 a.m. Okay, okay, okay. So the last weekend I woke up at 8 a.m. Okay, thank you, Jessica. Thank you so much. Donde estabas, Jessica? Okay, okay, okay. Here. You're welcome. Thank you. Let's continue with Sonia. Uh -huh. The last weekend I went to the mountain. Wait, wait, wait. Sonia, you have to repeat Jessica's example. And then you oh, have to say sorry. your example. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Jessica? Yes. Okay, the okay. last weekend I woke up at AM. Uh huh. I went, I went, walk to the mountain. I'm sorry, and, and you went? Walk. Mm, you need only one verb. You went to the mountains or you walked? Yes. Yeah, you went to the I mountains. I went to the mountain. Went to the mountains, okay. All right. So, woke up at 8 a.m. and went to the mountains. Thank you for the information, Sonia. Okay. Let's continue okay. with Elizabeth Mejia. Okay. I, last weekend, woke up at 
6 a.m. And I knew a new place. I took a breakfast in the Monte Cristo Quinta. Uh, it's very delicious. And after that, I, I went to the office and the noon. And on last Sunday, I roll a bake in the morning. And the last morning and the afternoon, I visited my mother-in-law. That's all. Only that? Are you sure? <laughs> it's fantastic. Nice job. Nice job. Uh, you convinced me. You convinced me. A lot of information in Simple Pass. Um, I think this question, what did you do last weekend? We can have a little conversation tomorrow in the beginning of the class using this information. So prepare me something special for tomorrow to, to open the class. Yeah, tomorrow at 8 p.m. I'm going to ask you, hey, what did you do last weekend? And we're going to have a little conversation about that. OK, right now, let's go ahead and jump to the material because we need to run. We need to continue learning. So we have here a verb. In this type of question, what do you think? Is it just no question or is an information question? Just no question. This is a just no question. And the auxiliary, it's dead. In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Okay, check it out. This is a yes, no question, and you start with the auxiliary. Yes? Did you work on Saturday? Although, you don't only say yes or no, you have to provide information. And the important factor is the verb. The verb in the question is really important. You have to know the verb in the simple present and in the simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Affirmative, yes I did. Confirmation, I worked. I'm using the verb, there wasn't a question, I'm using the verb in the simple past. I worked all day. Or no, I didn't. Confirmation, I didn't work at all. Repeat, I didn't work at all. I didn't, I didn't work, work, I didn't work, I didn't work. work. At all. No, no trabajé. Yo no trabajé para nada. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Repeat. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. Repeat. Yes, I did. I worked all day. Yes, yes, I, yes did. I did. I worked all day. All day. Okay, let's check. Let's check. Other oh, just no question. Did you go anywhere? Did you go, the verb go, did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. In the confirmation, I'm going to use the verb go, but in the simple past. Yes? I went to the movies. Yes, I did. I went to the supermarket. Yes, I did. I went to the mall. Yes, I did. I went to the cinema etc right but you have to play with the verbs if it's negative no i didn't i didn't go i didn't go go is because i'm using the auxiliary did okay do you have any question on this structure No. A ver, hagamos una pequeña práctica usando just no questions, ¿ok? Uh, no vamos a alcanzar a ver las otras, pero sí, uh, just no questions. 
Uh, my question for the class, and I need to see a, 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 a virtual hand raise, if you can answer, okay? Um, my question is, did you speak to your friends last weekend? Did you speak to your friends last weekend? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I didn't. But si me dice, yes, I did. ¿Qué sigue? Yes, I did. I? I speak with uh -huh. my friends. I? Spoke. Speak. Spoke. Correct. I spoke with oh. Carlos. Carlos is my best friend. Ah, I spoke. You understand? Okay. Si fuera negativo, no, I didn't. I didn't? I didn't speak. speak. Uh -huh. I didn't speak with nobody. No hablé con nadie. I didn't speak with nobody. Okay. One more question. One more question. Did you did you have dinner before the class today? Yeah. I yes I did. I well what, what is the question? <laughs> ate. I ate. Uh -huh. Yo se la hice, yo se la hice con have, ¿verdad? Pero como estamos hablando de comida, podemos usar have, podemos usar eat. En este caso, el pasado, right? Ya sea have or ate. Okay. I ate my dinner before class. That's good, that's good. Excellent, excellent. One more question, one more question. One more question. Um, did you, did you, did you buy something special this week? Did you buy something special this week? No, I didn't. I didn't buy something special. Okay, no problem. Good answer, Jancy. Good answer. Recuerden que aunque sea negativo, tienen que darle completa, right? Uh huh. Did you buy anything special? Yes, I did. I did buy. Wait, yes, I did. Sam, aquí ve. Yes, I did. Yes, I... I did. I, I bought. I? I bought. I bought. I bought. Buy. Buy. Bought. bought. I bought a jacket. I bought a pair of shoes. Yes? I, I bought a shoes. No, shoes. A pair. A pair of shoes. Bueno, entonces preparen. Preparen. Yes, no questions. Prepárenme de estas para mañana, chicos. Porque mañana vamos a hablar de, de esto mismo tema. De what did you do on your last vacation? Puede ser your last vacation or your last weekend, como ustedes gusten, ¿ok? Uh, porque las dos son interesantes, la verdad. If you speak about your last vacation, se puede, ¿verdad? Or your last weekend. Um, entonces, preparen preguntas con did you, right? Did you eat? Did you drink? Did you meet? Did you go? Etc. All the questions possible. Así vamos a lograr una super práctica mañana usando el simple pass, uno de los tiempos más, más challenging, más desafiante, ¿verdad? Esta lengua eh, mundial que es el inglés. Guys, un placer. Thank you for your attention. Good participation. I'll see you tomorrow, 8 p.m. See you tomorrow. Be safe. Thank you. Good night. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good practice. Goodbye, ladies. Goodbye, gentlemen. Bye. Have a Bye. Nice. A pleasure. Have a good night.